Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this file on my Facebook page. I'm glad people are doing that. But if, and she's, they are saying that the nodes aren't connected and they're showing double lines. Well, if you click on that line and move it out of the way, it looks like just one line. But if you look at it in comparison to this line, and if you back up even more, you can see it's a thicker line. So, what you can do is take your shape tool and zoom in, and there is, well, let's do this. Let's go and break curve apart. There's two lines right there. So, you could delete that line, but I'm afraid that there's more than that in the drawing. You can hold down the shift key and select both your lines and then select both these nodes and go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. I'm going to set it back to a half an inch and apply. Now, sorry about that. It still looks like there's one line here, but Here's how to solve this problem. I'm going to set my nudge distance on 18 because this thing is almost 17 wide. I'm going to grab my Smart Fill tool and fill it in. I'm going to nudge my new drawing to the left. I'm going to left click, right click. Now all your problems are solved. Now all your nodes are joined and you don't have the double line problem. Let's just see if that's a double line. See, you can almost see because it's got two arrows. So let's grab the shape tool. See, there's two lines there. So there is double lines, but now you don't have them. Now they're just single lines. And if I, they mentioned something about CNC I would try to get rid of some of these double nodes. I don't know if they're talking about laser or CNC routing. But that is how I would fix it. Now, with that said, let's just see if I can't back up here. Before I fix that, the Smart Fill tool leaks because of that node. So if you ever have that, you got a leak, and that was kind of my telltale sign when I did that. And you can't join them. Let me zoom in here. Go to range and well, let me select the whole thing. I must have gone all the way back to the original drawing. Let's ungroup all the objects. Let's zoom in on these double lines. Let's grab the shape tool and break this apart. And there's your double line. So even my trick of joining the lines will not work in this case because it can't join three lines. So if I select this and go to Windows, Dockers, join curves, it just doesn't work because there's another curve there. Well, it did join them, but it can't. It just doesn't work. So whenever you see two arrows like that, you've got two lines. Now you can delete that line, select these two and join those curves. And that's how I would fix it. That taking away both those nodes just takes away the arch. See, there's a double line right there. That was kind of a clue, but it doesn't have a leak. So the Smart Fill tool is going to work in this case. And the Smart Fill tool is like a cure-all. Everything's fixed. Everything's welded together. Good to go. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.